Daniel is a happy, healthy baby, and his mum Paula is determined to do everything she can to make him stay that way. But should anything go wrong in the future, she says she feels more comfortable knowing that instead of having thrown away her baby's umbilical cord, she's chosen to have it cryogenically stored, allowing her family easier access to potentially life-saving stem cell therapy. Um, fingers crossed we never need to use them, but as I say, it's an insurance policy. Should our children have leukaemia or there's a whole variety of, of conditions and illnesses that can be treated with stem cell replacement therapy. So and for the tissue, you know, over the next 10 years, then um, goodness knows what it's going to be able to be used for. It was in this pool where baby Daniel entered the world exactly one week ago today. But the drama didn't end there for the family. And immediately after the birth, midwife stepped in and removed a section of the newborn's umbilical cord, which, with the help of this kit can now be stored for up to 20 years, meaning that valuable stem cells can be extracted if ever Daniel or any of his immediate family become sick. Basically, we take those cells and we tell those cells what we want them to become. The stem cells that we've taken from baby Daniel's cord can actually be used for his siblings, his parents, and to a lesser extent, um, possibly grandparents. The further away from Daniel that they become, the... Um, chances of there being a successful match are slightly lessened, but there's always that um, opportunity to use them for the family members as well, which is really exciting. Paula is the first mum in the UK to have stored stem cells in this way. The research into their uses continues to advance, with several studies being conducted right here in Manchester. With a 20-year shelf life, should Paula ever need the cells from Daniel's umbilical cord, there could be an even greater understanding of their regenerative properties. Manchester should be very proud of its contribution. We have several groups working in the area of stem cells, tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, both with embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Stem cell therapy doesn't offer any guarantees and parents can't always keep their children out of harm's way. But the birthing centre where Paula had Daniel has already had other requests for the storage of the umbilical cord from parents trying to look out for their kids in every way possible. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M Today.